So, I'm having a lot of ties and you're still in the Get my desk, get my desk put. You come with that tech. I'm going to have a lot more food. I'm out of my life by the world of worlds. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know.
What do you need, friend? Be safe, all right? What do you need, friend? Be safe, all right? forging. Welcome, most esteemed patron. New goods arrive all the time. We have the finest goods. Hail and welcome to Winton's Grand Market. Officially certified by Westmarch and a guaranteed fair trading ground. If you wish to buy or sell, we will gladly aid you for the smallest of fees. <laughs> it can't hurt to look. New goods arrive all the time. Adventurer, over here. I think I have a few wares more suited to your skill set. A 
saw you leaving Winton's place. Perfectly fine if you're looking for jewels and that sort of thing, but I know there's more to being an adventurer than that. I'll trade you for any silver hilts, the coin of the Honorable Knights of Westmarch. Do good around here, earn a few, and your renown will foot the bill with me. Hilts, eh? I'll keep that in mind. If you're interested in browsing what I have available, come find me at the Immortals Overlook. Until then. I should check on Cain. Hopefully he has learned more about the stones. How goes your research? Have you found anything to help us destroy the Shards? In fact, I've made quite a breakthrough. Pouring through some of these ancient texts, I uncovered a man who knew more about the World Stone than anyone. One of the original Haradrim, named Zoltan Kuhl. My ancestor, Jared Kane, documented his experiences with the man quite well. It seems Cool would experiment with soul stones in his spare time. Soul stones? Yes, powerful artifacts intended to house the spirits of the prime evils. Apparently they too were shards of the world stone. But only Zoltan Kuhl knew of their construction. In the end, he was killed by his Herodric brothers. Accounts differ as to how, but it is clear the Herodrim made quite an effort to expunge his knowledge from the world. Searching the world over for traces of a man who died centuries ago is no small feat. I don't even know what he looks like. The task is arduous indeed. Fortunately, the Herodrim's purge was not as thorough as they believed. I was able to unearth a few records that may help us. There's even a drawing of cool, if you're curious. Sultan Kuhl's paranoia may benefit us. It seems he hid a number of archives throughout the world. My research shows at least one of his libraries survived, buried beneath the sands of the Shassar Sea. That's beyond Chaldeum. Yes, it's quite the journey. In order to reach Shassar, you're going to need to book passage on a ship. Take that letter there on the table, and bring it to the captain in the Wolf City Tavern. He'll know- Well done, Kane. I will make my way there at once. It's growing late. friend you do the fighting I'll do the forging let us forge a new legend be well 
until your path leads you to me again. Oh, hello! Uh, come Nothing else I can help you with? Ah, yes. Well, Good. nothing worth my time then. Very well. <laughs> to book passage for a voyage to the eastern lands, and a friend told me that I might find help in this tavern. Would you know anything about that? <laughs> Your friend's a wily one, whoever they are. Yeah, you're in the right place. Uh, but the guy you're looking for is outside. Pirates tend to get a little rowdy. Huh? Uh, what was that noise? Oh, God damn it. If they're starting a fight out there, they better not bring it inside. Well, uh, what are you waiting for? An invitation to the tavern brawl? Right. I'll take a look. into giving up the gold! Show mercy! Get out of here before the guards arrive. And don't look back. Letting them walk was a wise move. Pirates like that come and go. Never know when you'll be forced to work with them again. And it's not like the guard would have shown up at a place like this anyways. They seemed misguided. But harmless. Besides, I'm actually here to find a captain willing to make the journey to the Eastern Lands. You seem to be the man this letter was intended for. Letter? Let me see that. I see. So Kane's calling in his favor, eh? Uh, it must be important. Where are we headed? Ever heard of the Shasar Sea? Of course I have. Didn't realize you had a death wish, though. I don't usually go that far out. But after this little spat, my men and I might need to spend some time outside the city. All right, you have a deal. Meet me at the dock when you're ready and we'll set sail. I take it my letter worked then. Here, yeah. 
I have something for you. I pray this serves you well as you brave the unknown. When you return, I will be here in my workshop. Until then, my friend. Chaldeum and Shessar beyond it are a long way from Westmarch. Are you ready to take your leave? I am. Let's be off. I'll make this easy, you, you double-crossing rat. Give me the map, and maybe you'll live long enough to scurry away. Look at that, sir. A stranger from out of nowhere to save you, huh? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy cutting your balls. That is a question no native would ask. <laughs> Those brutes were the sand scorpions, a group of vile murderers that I am overjoyed to no longer be a part of. Why don't you grab the key of Tiago and free me? Hmm? Then we can talk more. You are amazing, friend. Now, not every traveler waylaid by the Scorpions has the strength to fight back. <laughs> Much less kill Tiago the Bloodthirsty. What brings someone like you to this forsaken desert? I'm looking for a library of an ancient mage. It is said to be buried beneath the dunes. Would you know anything about that? <clears throat> a little too forthright for these sands, friend. You never know who may be listening, but yes, I know of what you seek. Come, we can discuss these things in a safer place. Welcome to the Shasser Sea. <laughs> a more turbulent than the cursed place you may never find. <laughs> <coughs> the Sand Scorpions have never forgiven us for leaving them. But Tabri has a strength they lack. Come, you'll see. Where is everyone? You there. What has happened? Ah, the Lacuni attacked again. Tabri and the others went to fight them. Those damn beasts attack without end. Listen, friend. To find your library, you will need to speak to our leader, Tabri. Unfortunately for you, she is in the midst of repelling a Lacuni invasion. But hey, it's not all sandstorms and wasps. Sure, there are a few panther monster people in your way, but a person of your skill can easily remove them, yes? Gov, the Lacuni are already at our gates. We need all the blades we can get. <laughs> of course, of course. Take my friend here, and I will join you uh, once I have taken care of this man's grievous wounds. Right, Zav. Whatever. Come this way, stranger.
Need something reforged? The job well done. <laughs> Do you require magical? your kind here you have either excellent or terrible timing stranger while I appreciate your aid I do not know who you are what brings you to my camp your friend Zov I believe his name was said I should speak with you I'm looking for something buried beneath these sands uh, friend is a strong word if Zov sent you, he must see good omens in your arrival. But there is no fortune to be found here. Look around. Wait, it seems. Excellent or terrible timing, stranger. While I am your friend, uh, look, her. luck is all I can offer you, outsider. Leave, and may for his eye never fall upon you. Over here, this way. You must recharge. 
Fear not the end. Let me guess. Tabri told you to leave, hmm? Ah, that woman is surely the coldest person in a thousand miles. No wonder Vateos is frightened of her. Listen, your problem is an easy one. She believes you are going to be a burden. Yes? So instead, we lighten the weight upon her shoulders. Simple. And I know exactly how we do it. Several of our men were dragged away in the last attack. Save anyone still alive, and kill the Lakuni pack leader. <laughs> oh, and bring back proof of your kill. Tabri, for some inconceivable reason, favors action over words. <laughs> Let me guess. Please, several. Anyway, I'll skip off the conversation. I am renewed. The Lacuni do not keep prisoners, it seems. Who's back? Oh, and with a pelt? Ooh, that's uh, disturbing. <laughs> but clever. Tabri won't be able to deny such uh, compelling evidence. <laughs> anyway, Tabri just returned to camp. Uh, follow me, and I'll take you to her. She's certainly going to be surprised to see this. You had best have a good reason for disturbing me again, outsider. Isn't it 
that amazing boss? We killed Alvas. <laughs> Those lousy Lacuni will know better than to mess with us. Yeah. Us? Hmm. Considering it's our new friend's hands that are bespattered with blood, it isn't difficult to tell where the credit is due. As for you, go and hang the beast's skin on my gate. Let those mongrels see its face every time they think about encroaching on my territory. When you're done, we'll talk. What can I do for uh -huh. you? Job well done. Did something reforged? Hmm. Back to work then. Keep up the patrols. We will not be complacent just because of a single victory. So. You have proven yourself to be quite the fighter, haven't you? Zov says you're seeking the library of Zoltan Kul. I know of it, and I am willing to entertain helping you get there. For a price. And what price is that? The Scepter of Fahir. An artifact once held by the rightful ruler of Shassar, and split into three pieces after his death. With it, we can finally bring peace to this land. Obtain all three, and you will have what you seek. Zov, take our friend to Peth. His guidance will be invaluable to you, newcomer. Before you go, take this, as proof of our pact. This gem, and others like it, will prove useful to you on your journey. I suggest you get acquainted with them as well. Of course, but look at that, my friend. Oh, a tourmaline. A rare gift in these parts indeed. You should meet Emin. She will show you what to do with it. Ah, a customer. <laughs> Keep an eye out for sandstorms. Uh, a custom. Ah, uh, Zav. Here to repay your debts, finally? Or to increase them further, I wonder. <laughs> a good one. Let's skip past such trivialities, shall we? My friend here wishes to learn how to harness the potential of gems. And I could think of no one but you to help. Oh, a gem, you say? Let me see it. Hmm. Good color. A few inclusions. Not exactly flawless, but still quite pretty. This jewel will enhance your capabilities nicely. I can help you with socketing it, if you like. May Fahir's eye never fall upon you. Oh, look at you. You're so, uh, shiny. Uh, honestly, 
I can't even see it. Did you even get it socketed? It doesn't matter. Come, it is time to meet with Peth. And carry on with this journey of yours. This relic actually appears to be genuine. <laughs> Miracles do happen. Excuse me. Tabri sent me to speak with you about the Scepter of Fahir. What? The Scepter? <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? What do you need to know about that cursed thing? Where to look for it? Supposedly, it's been broken into three pieces. Please, I know all about the Scepter's history. What I don't think you understand is how impossible the task you've been given is. The scepter was separated and buried intentionally when Fahir's reign ended. Our forebears understood that deeds like King Fahir's must never be repeated. We know where the three pieces are. It is obtaining them that is the fool's errand. Still, I've seen that look in an adventurer's eye before. Very well. If you cannot be dissuaded, the first map piece lies on the desk behind me. It will point you to one of the Scepter's fragments. Take it if you wish, but you do so at your own peril. The Chamber of Wisdom. Very well. Ah, so I'm going to go. 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 I'm going